17. These aren't on sale yet, so I'm gonna wait till they go on sale and hope I get lucky. Colors on sale for one fifty. Mm. Here's some of these. Stays on. A few of those are on there. Yeah. Hi everyone, it's Rhonda. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I had to go to Hobby Lobby one more time. Good grief, I've been I think about six times now to find some more and more awesome deals so this time they had some of their jewelry not a lot and then they had uh, all of these different uh, punches on sale now the last couple times I've been there they did not have them but this time they did so let me show you what I got first one I got was this um, paper studio three dollars regular eleven ninety nine and it is a scalloped heart is that not adorable so i grabbed one of those then they had this one most of the ek tools were the ones that were on sale but they had a few of the other brands that were also on sale and i'll pop in a video and show you the ones that that were also on sale uh, that i did not get but i thought i needed this one regular 18.99 for 4.75 it's a really nice border punch which i did not have this and i thought that was really pretty so i got that one then they had this hello that that was cute 425 these all were 425 uh, a cute little donut adorable then they had this which some people say is icing i think it's poo um, these were 16.99 down to 425 so great 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 buy uh, then they had this pretty bird one 15.99 and it says it's confetti punch but you could use that little bow for stuff. Use that little bird, the hearts, all of that. Great, great, great value. And then the last one that I got in the punches was this cute little smiley face. So <clears throat> they also had some um, of the big punches like this one. This one's a really large punch. Uh, but they even had some that were even larger than this. And they had um, deer on them, elk. Um, you know the pretty head that has the deer horns up in the face they had one of those so you know I had to get I had to get these but I'm going on vacation in less than a month and I just couldn't justify spending the money on it so I got the least amount that I thought I could use so let me uh, clear this off and I'll show you what else I got okay now a quick run through of the stamps that I found the first ones I'll go with the wooden stamps uh, I found this one the cute little mud pie friend and Amanda so cute with the little Mises on it uh, this one 250 these were regularly let's see somewhere on here I know it tells oh there we go 9.99 for that this one probably also 8.99 
for that one. They had this one. You're the cupcake to my cake. Or you're the cup to my cake. Uh, I always leave a room in your holidays from. I always leave room in your holiday for miracles. I'll spit that out. Two dollars. A little cupcake one. Be my Valentine for a dollar. And then I couldn't pass this one up for the recipes for two fifty. Then they had these two, which I was just in love with. So I grabbed those for one seventy five. Great, great value. Found one of these little uh, Amy Tangerines for $1.50. Let's flip it over here. Here's the little sayings it has on it. Fantastic. Oh, happy life. We can celebrate and in the week. So, can never have enough of those, I don't think. This one was $75. Messy hair, don't care. Hello, weekend. Bring on the weekend. I woke up like this. I sure did. Uh, then I had found this one, which I just loved with the. It really looks. <clears throat> more like a salt shaker <clears throat> sorry lose my voice then a mason jar but it's supposed to be a mason jar but thought it was cute either way then this one i just fell in love with for easter for kids for fun thought that was really cute they only had one of those so i grabbed it then they had all of these great um word ones and i thought that the font on these was just lovely so i grabbed that one and I grabbed this one. Look at that. So many different things. You know, first, best wishes, thanks, thank you. $250. Wow. And then the last one in that range was the Flamingo. And it's really cool. I don't show a picture of it, but you stamp these different colors and it comes out really, really pretty. $250 from $9.99. Then I found the Sizzix ones, Sizzix ones. I loved this one with the darling. <clears throat> You're amazing. Those are really, those are really nice. Uh, here's another one of the Sizzix for $2.50. And thoughts and prayers to your friends, family, you, me, Mr. and Mrs. I have another daughter who's getting married, so that will come in handy. And then I found this little emoji stamp, which I thought was kind of cute, so I grabbed that. So let me move this out of the way and I'll show you all of the inks that I got. Okay, here is all of the inks. Now, I've been running low on ink. Some of mine are really old and they've dried up. And I've wanted to try some of the Hero Arts and some of the Color Box, and I've just never done it. So I thought I would give it a try since they're on sale. Now, granted, I have these uh, Ranger inks and I have um, other archival inks, but I thought these look like they could get a good try so this is garden party I believe the name of it oh garden patina so I got that one I got this one in carnation um, okay, sunflower of course this is probably buttercup it is buttercup vivid chartreuse sorry got a little off there deep purple tangerine nope tiger lily probably Yep, Tiger Lily, uh, Vibrant Fuchsia, Forget Me Not, and Pink something. Pink Peony. So those were all down from $5.99 to a buck fifty. So I got all the colors that they had, so I couldn't pass that up. The other stays on thing <clears throat> that I'm not sure about, but I got because it was $10.99 and it's on sale for $2.75, is this stays on opaque. It's cotton white and it has a refill in it. So I thought, wow, that that'll be fun to play with. So I grabbed one of those. Now the Hero Arts were the ombre Hero Arts that they had on sale and one neon. Not all of the of those were on sale, um, but the majority of them for $2.50. This one had a tag on, I don't know where it went, but they were all on sale for $2.50 each. These were regularly $9.99 a piece. That is just crazy to pay that for that. So I'm glad I found these. And then of course the neon was just two dollars now they had a whole bunch of these but they only had a couple of these so i grabbed them and then the next one with a color box they had those for a dollar and a quarter and these are the chalk color block i'm sorry color box and i guess it's rose cheek color i got this one in a uh huckleberry which is a dark brown i'm guessing and then this one in azul, kind of a greenish blue. And the other one that I wanted to try was this one. Never even heard of this brand. 
can't even tell, palette is what it's called in a Russian blue for $1.50. And I don't see a regular price on this, so I don't know how much those were regularly. And then I had found these little color boxes, which I thought were really great because they're in the um, metallic family. So I grabbed those for $1.87 and I grabbed this set that has black, brown, and chestnut in it. So for $1.87, you really can't go wrong on that. I also found this patina, which I thought was pretty cool, um, from Ranger, which I think it is, what color does it say it is? This says Victorian gold, Victorian gold. So I mean, I'm gonna have to play with that and see how that turns out. Then they still had some of their Ranger inks on sale or Tim Holtz uh, distress paint. So I grabbed some of those, those are still a dollar. Uh, that one's Hickory. I think this one's probably Twisted something. Twisted, I don't know. Looks like chartreuse to me, green. <laughs> uh, wilted purple, wilted violet. I got the candied apple one. Sorry, got that off screen a little bit there. I'm trying to read and see what I'm doing at the same time. It's kind of hard. Uh, then they had this one, the umber one. And I got another one of these lush green ones. Sorry about the lighting. It's kind of hazed over here today. So making life difficult. Now these are stencil paints. And I've never played with these either. So, but for 75 cents, I thought I would give them a go. So I got this pretty green. I got it in black, got it in gold, silver, and also um, this copper color. So I'm gonna give all of those a try. I'm kind of excited about that. Now I had got some of these before. These are just uh, glitter inks, $1.24, still on sale for that great price. And I did play with these a little bit, and these are really fun. So I got the uh, blue, I got the neutral gray, uh, I got crimson, purple and raw umber and the last one is a neutral one again so I got two neutrals but I thought those will be a lot of fun to just kind of play with and see what all I can come up with so there is all of that so now on to the jewelry okay now for the um, jewelry section I'm going to start off with the cheapest ones which was 50 cents and it is a cute little um, England, what are they called? Beef eaters, I think they're called. The little men who stand outside the, the palace. But I got two of those 50 cents. So I thought those make cute little charms. So I grabbed that one. Then the 75 cent stuff. I found this really cool octopus. Uh, they had this in the fairy tale section, happily ever after. Uh, then they had these for little charms. 70, these are all 75 here that I'm showing you right now. Let me flip that over. Oh no, my light just went out. And aim high. This one's a drink me. 75 cents for those. I got another one of those little tassel ones. And then the last one in the 75 cent charms was this little one with the cross on it. They also... They also had this bead, which was 75, this bead set, string of beads. So I got one of those. I thought these were really, really pretty beads with the uh, silver on them. So I grabbed those. Then we go to the dollar section. Dollar bead. First one is this one. Sorry, I'm kind of moving here, trying to get the light. Fairy tales do come true, and it's just a little heart charm. Then here's another fairy tale one. You're never too old for a fairy tale. So cute. Then they had this one, a four pack for a dollar. And that is a little piece of bread. Spread the love, a little heart. This is just a little, a little jar with little hearts on it. And then a little knife for spreading, spreading the love. Another one that has four in it is this cute little one with the sweets on it. But that was adorable. Be really cute charms on the little, uh, oh, um, pins that I make. I'll get it out. My brain's not working this morning. Uh, then I found this one, Dance in the Rain, which I always, always do with my sweetheart. We dance in the rain all the time because we're silly like that. And then the last one in the dollar range were these beads. I think there's uh, 10 in here maybe. 
but I thought they were kind of cool with all that really old looking patina on them, so I grabbed those. Now then, on to the dollar and a quarter. Now why some of the charms were a dollar and a quarter and some were, well, there's a $3.99, these are $4.99, maybe that's why. And I got one of these, I'm not old, I'm vintage, and it has an old phone on it, a little bell, and then an old uh, skeleton key. So I grabbed a couple of those because I thought those were too cute. Uh, this one is, pardon my French, very French. Um, we're going to be in France for about, mm, I don't know, a hot minute when we go to Ireland. We're landing there first, so I thought, well, I'll put that in there. Uh, then I found this little fairy tale, and it is a little locket. My third hand, I'll open that. Very cute. The castle on it, so I got a couple of those. Then they had these cool eyeballs. They were a dollar and a quarter, regular four ninety nine, and I just thought those were really cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, so I got that package, and I got a bluer package. That one was like dinosaur eyes. It's very cool. So I got that. That's the same little package as the other one. I'm not old. I'm vintage. Then they had this one for $1.75, and this is just a New York one. I, my daughter lives in New York, and we are also going to be in New York for a night, so I thought that would be really good for my travels. They had this little charm bracelet for $2, or it's a charm necklace, and you can put your name on it, which I thought was really cute, so I grabbed that. And then the last of the beads was this big one, $2, regular $7.99 acrylic bead mix and these are the large beads so they will fit the large core beads so they will fit on uh, some of my pins and they make really cute tassel beads or um, other kinds of beading that I do so that is all the beads next thing up are the tools all right the first thing I want to show you is this pinwheel punch board five dollars this was regular $29.99 I believe might have been 1999. It does not have the tag on it still, but it makes pinwheels. And for five dollars, I thought <laughs> I'll give it a go. Um, so I'm I'm gonna have to try that out. I'm pretty excited about that. So five dollars for the We Are Memory Keepers uh, punch. And then this is a scalloped goodie bag. I had these for two fifty, regular nine ninety nine. Now this you put it up against the paper, and then it just rips along the paper. So if you have glycine uh, paper or I'm guessing lightweight vellum would work, um, probably like uh, parchment paper would work, lightweight craft paper would work. So I thought I'm going to give that a try too. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to give those a try out. And then the last tool that I got was this fuse mat. Five bucks, regular 20, brand spanking new fuse mat. So I'm really excited about that. My fuse tool, I I need to practice it because I don't think I use it right. But um, now that I have this, I keep it plugged in and not burn my hand off like you know like I like it to do. So anyway, it's kind of funny. I'm gonna tell you a funny little story. My husband was looking at my hand and he's like, "Oh, honey, that looks so terrible." But I debride it every day, and then it has this coating over it. What well, makes it look worse than it really is? Um, but um, he was like, you know what? I could loan you, I could donate you some skin for that if you want. Maybe you need a skin graft. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. And he goes, but you have to take it from my bottom. And I was like, why would I do that? <laughs> and he's like, well, that way, you know, when I, when people kiss your hand, they'll be kissing my bottom. And I was like, oh my gosh, you're so silly. But anyway, that's just a dumb story I had to tell you. <laughs> so next up is the planner stuff that I found. Okay, they had a lot of their planner stuff on sale. I do not have a personal planner from Carpe Diem or however you say this. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I love this teal and blue together and it feels like leather. I'm sure it's not, I'm sure it's just like a pleather. But from 30 bucks down to 750, I was like, I'm all in. Now it is a um, ringed binder and it, but, I'm gonna give it a try. If I don't use it for a personal planner, I'll probably use it for something else. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I got that one. Then they had this traveler's notebook, and it is just the dark blue, not the the um, the green too. But also 30 bucks down to 750, and it even comes with one a little notepad in it. Now I'm going to open these up here in a minute, but first I'm going to just show you everything I got. Now this was, look at that price tag, $34.99 down to 
eight to seventy five. Now it looks like it's dirty, but that is actually just on the plastic. So I'm pretty excited about that. When you open this one up, look at all the pocket. You can put a picture in here. Um, this is a Webster's Pages, which I had bought some Webster stuff at another store, so it's going to be really good for my planner for this year. It has a full-size notebook in it. Got all these pockets in the back. Really, really nice quality. Really, really nice quality. So I'm really excited about using that. So I'm going to move that over here, and then I'm going to show you the other uh, carpet diem things that I got. They had these that were regular $8.99 down to $2.25. You get 32 inserts, all of this that's on the back. So a whole bunch of foiled uh, centerpieces or divider pages, centerpieces. And then, of course, your calendar and note pages and all of that. So I loved that. Then they had this one. Same thing, $8.99 to two and a quarter. Look at these. They're so cute. I mean, they just suck me in with their cuteness. That's what they do. Another one, but 225, different. And this one they have broke up a little bit. Look at the feathers. Trust the Lord with all your heart. So cool. Got that one. And then the last one was this one. And it has all of these in a pretty flowers and pink and green and blue so gonna have a lot of fun with that so let me open these two planners up and show you those real quick all right the traveler's notebook just a traveler's notebook but i love that it has all these pockets here that's very nice quality um and then another pocket back here to slide into and it's got one little blank notepad in it which is awesome so there's that one and then this one is the personal planner and it has the same features except for it has the uh, ring binder in it so pretty excited about those so next up will be I don't know what's next I guess Easter I got a couple of Easter things okay just a few Easter things I got these six Easter now these are 40% off, all the Easter is, but look at them. They're beaded and they've got, they'll be so cute. I have a little DIY I'm going to try and get up on the channel. And I also needed some of this grass, so I thought that looked really well with it. So I got that. Um, next Easter thing were these, and they had them on sale for 50 cents. Little egg hunt, the little Easter on it. Uh, then I found this for $1.79. I thought I'd throw that in. It is a stencil that says Wild and Furry. I found one more package of flowers that I didn't have for $1.50. And then this cute little Easter for $0.57. Cents. Cute little foxes for $0.57. Cents. And lastly, they had this for $1. These are my people. Coffee, talk, shop, repeat. If it was tea, it would be perfect. Life was made for good friends and great adventure. Love that. So that's really cute. So that is everything that I got. I am not going back. So nobody tell me about anything else being on sale. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. There is some paper that I got. Mm, and it's Easter paper. So let's look at it. The first one was this one. Now the paper is 50% off. All the loose leaf paper like this. Not loose leaf, but single sheet paper. This was 59 cents. So got it for 30 cents. Then they had this one. They had another really pretty egg one, and then this adorable little bunny one. How cute are those? Bunnies! Love those. And then there's a couple of paper pads I got I want to show you real quick. So, is this one. First one is this one for five bucks, down from 20. But look at the paper. Got pianos and old vintage French horns, violins. Um cellos music piano keys more guitars and i mean it's just really cool very vintagey looking paper which i'm really into as of late and then they had this one which was even cheaper at 375 but it's all of these really cool different fruits i thought that was really cute look at those 
love them. Watermelon, strawberries, stripes, all the fruits, pineapples, more watermelon, cherries, oranges, pink grapefruits. Oh, those are little heart strawberries. That's cute. And then they had this, which I thought was really cute with the little pineapple hair coming out of her head. And then the last paper pack I got, I'm so excited about. Now this one is probably missing a few pages, but I'm okay with that. This is the Disney Frozen. It was regular $24.99 down to four and a quarter. Crazy price. But look at that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm sure I'll find some fun stuff to do with this, if not send a page or two because it has a lot of pages in it I think you get three of each page yeah and it has quite a few different designs in it so well worth the uh, four bucks I spent for it or 475 425 without a doubt look at that so cute I love heat summer crazy for summer chilling in the sunshine so adorable oh well, anyway guys that is my last final not going back no matter what goes on sale sale from Hobby Lobby thank you all for tuning in if you like my video please give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and stay tuned for the next video if you would please give me that thumbs up it helps me a lot in the rotation and gets my videos out there so I would appreciate that if you would do that uh, also, if you hit that little bell, you'll get a notifi notification of when I put up a another video. So, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.